You don't know how lucky you are, Trinity. Dang it. I have to let you leave jail. And you belong there. Oh, yes, you do. Both them horses you sold were stolen. But everyone says the thief was a fair-haired man. And no matter what kind of a double-crossing son of a bitch you are, I know one thing is certain. You ain't no blonde, Trinity. Here's the $50 you brought with you. But I gotta deduct 49 of it. Seeing as how you ain't guilty. You gotta pay for your board and lodging. I'm giving you this change so you know we treat our prisoners fair and square in El Torito. I'll keep this for our collection. Now you got half an hour to clear out of town. I want my water bottle. Oh, yeah. Here. Now get. And don't let me see you around here again. Say, boy, why do they call you Trinity? Because it was born in Trinidad, of course. <laughs> I've been waiting for almost a week now. Patricia, that girl, you know, the one I met at the saloon, she told me you were bound to get out by the end of the month. Well, so I just set myself down here to welcome you, because Sartana always stands by his partners. <laughs> and so does Trinity. We never meet each other again. But if we do, stand aside. It's wiser.
ain't polite to steal a gun off an old friend. You can have it back. Don't worry. Just don't worry. <laughs> oh, I ain't worried, all right. Just so long as you swear not to use it on me. I won't shoot you. I promise. That ain't enough, Trinity. I said swear. That's better. Now I know I can trust you. Well, have you thought it over? Yeah. Well, what have you decided? Nothing. My, you sure are a tough critter. Say, do you know how many people work for that new railroad company? No. Well, I'll tell you. I know, because I've seen them. I've robbed their trains dozens of times. That a fact. At a rough guess, I figured there's at least a thousand fellers working for them. Work. Slaves. I'm not through talking. So hold your horses till I finish. Just listen to me. And remember, I was never fond of work either. What I want to go for is their payroll. Just let me tell you. I got it all worked out. At about an average of $4 a day per head, see? That's a total payment of more than 20,000 bucks every payday. Just waiting there for someone to take it. <coughs> <coughs> No, it's not the kind of job that suits me. I spent six weeks looking through the bars at El Cerrito, and I've got cause on my backside to prove it. Hmm. I thought you said you wanted to get back to Trinidad. Well, here's how you can do it. Enough money to go home with class. You may never get another chance if you let this one go. And with the plan I've got in mind, huh, we can't miss. <laughs> my old man, I tell you, he'd have been downright proud. Just where do we find this $20,000? I think you forgot the pepper. One thing I'll say for the railroad, when it comes to paying, they've always been very punctual. They got a good reputation. I enjoy dealing with that kind of client. I'm sure Timothy don't want to argue. <laughs> Ain't that right? Too late now, mister. <laughs> the big man's coming on strong. For me, too. You played your last hand. <laughs> you know those two fellas? No, I don't. Please say we have a drink. Yeah. <laughs> Anybody who shoots like that. You've got to keep an eagle eye on. If you say so, Burton. Yeah. yeah. Rise 
sunshine, Sambo. Where's that smart-ass pal of yours? You heard. Where's your cowpo friend? In town, I think. Why? No questions. <laughs> All you have to do is answer. Where is that blonde bastard? Can I put my boots on? Put them on, but be careful how you move. No more guessing games, stranger. We'll just wait right here for your pal to show up. Oh! It is very unkind waking up your neighbors like that. And it ain't very good manners. Makes the second time today that you and that crazy blonde got the best of me. Did you want to ask me something? There won't be a third time. Oh, oh. Down, boy. <laughs> you think these men here were sent by the local sheriff? <laughs> no. <laughs> I think they ought to go for a little walk when they wake up. What do you think? Okay. <laughs> I'll take care of their horses. So let's get out of here. What's that for? There's some digging we have to do. Did you kill him, Sartana? No time to explain now. We gotta move on. Solitaire? Huh. No, you're hold up. I can see it all here in these cards. God damn it. I wish you'd shut up about those cards. Just for once. Don't you think I've already got enough trouble when I'm surrounded by such a bunch of brainless knuckleheads? You called me, Mr. Burton. No. No, I didn't call you. And why aren't you watching the bank like I told you to? You have nothing to worry about, Mr. Burton. Now I sure have everything right under control. Get out of here! You don't have to act like that with Clark, do you hear? He's my brother, Burton. Just remember who you're speaking to. I've told you that before. Sure, yeah, I know he's your brother, but nerves can get you down and when you think of all that dang money that's at stake. Your brother should realize that Yes, he's... yes, you don't have to go on. My brother fell on his head when he was a little feller, so... I guess oh, that's... no, dear. I'm not interested in hearing your family history all over again right now. No, sirree. This is the moment to pray that everything finishes up the way it's supposed to. You haven't got a chance. Come on, Sheriff. Give me a hand, will you? Let's get this gold locked up, eh? Sure thing, will it? Ain't no use leaving temptation lying around. Made it after all. I had a funny feeling you fellows were going to get held up on the way here. I was so worried, I slept right here last night. I had the worst goddamn nightmare, like someone was hitting my head with a hammer. Funny, I usually sleep good. Usually. Eh, reckon I worry too much. you two boys like a little whiskey? Not a bad idea. <laughs> that bottle of yarn ain't never empty, eh, Mr. Skerritt? <laughs> <laughs> Good. Where's health, dear? Health. And to you. Mr. Skerritt, how about signing this receipt? It's for $18,000. Six sacks at $3,000 each in silver. Uh, thank you. Uh, uh, as a matter of formality, I got to count it. And you can help me put it away in the strong room. It's a pleasure. <laughs> sure. Them low-down, stinking varmints. Them no good, dirty sons of... If I ever get to drop on them again, they won't even have time for breath. I'll show them they can't treat Killer Clyde like that. 
Why, them coyotes ain't nothing but a pair of horse thieves. If I get my hands on that blonde bastard, I'll beat him so black and blue he'll be two shades darker than his pal. How much further is it? We've been walking for two hours. Oh, shut your mouth. Keep the dust out. You counted this one? Yep. Mm-hmm. It's Harry. Nightmare. Leave your guns where they are. Don't try anything. Oh, God! It's only the cash I'm after. And if you don't rile me, you won't get hurt. As long as you boys behave good and cooperate, you don't have a worry in the world. Now, just hand it over. going according to my plan. As soon as the sheriff leaves, me and the boys go into action. Don't forget, huh? The name is Sartana. Well, you son of a... Careful, mind your manners. I still got you covered, old timer. And they ain't never made a mistake. Why don't you go to hell and take your cards with you? Well, what's going on? Sartana! Sartana, go on. Uh, he just robbed the bank. Huh? <laughs> That's very good wine. But we won't be making any more of it. Why? Can't you grow good grapes here? <laughs> hey, Martha. Yeah? Get some more for our guest. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> we can grow them. But where are we going to do it? We all been booted off our land. All on account of that fellow Burton. Because everybody here owes him money, and we ain't got any. He made us pay for water, made us pay for pastures. He made us pay double on all our seeds and provisions. And he made us pay interest on the money, too. And when the bills have got so big, he claimed all our land. Here, Father. There you go. You might just as well enjoy it, friend. Otherwise, it'll just end up in Burton's hands, along with the rest of our things. He's already threatened to send his men against us. He says we gotta pay up or get out. How much do you owe this guy? The total is about seven or eight thousand dollars. No, it comes to eight thousand two hundred and six, Jeremiah. It comes out to exactly that, and not one penny more. Happy does our accounts. Can I have some more? Help <laughs> yourself. Here. Well. It shouldn't be very difficult to find a thousand dollars. It's a mortal sin to leave the land that can produce a drink like this. Uh, your health. Pity we have to go. But by now we can just pray, that's all. And even miracles don't come that big. Why all of us put together couldn't scrape up more than a handful of dollars. Why, nothing's too big for a miracle, as long as you put your faith in divine providence. That should be enough for your land. My people, too, in my island, 
Had to pay a ransom. We're all brothers and drinkers. Well, come on. Cheer up. Yeah. you do now? Hand over my money or I'll break your neck. Not a cent. Empty. Empty as all these bottles are. This is what I deserve for trailing around with a low-down, double-crossing snake. I work out a foolproof plan for robbing a bank, and what have I got to show for it in the end? That! Huh. You ain't going to let a thing like this worry you. Your father was the most famous horse thief in the West. And he lived to be 91. Yeah, but my old pa always knew when it was the right moment to move. Come to think about it, old pa had ideas. You know, this is just like you. Though to look at it, I'd never guess that you're worth $2,000. Huh. Tchaikovsky. <laughs> <laughs> remember, sure I do. I but I do. I remember everything. Here's to you. How about 
about that awful night you got so drunk and proposed to me. <laughs> yeah, I remember that. Yeah. yeah. That sure would have been this <laughs> What you mean? I mean, for you. When you swore you'd burn down the boarding house, remember? You behaved plum low <laughs> Yeah, that's you, right. I sure did that, but I was looking for you. When I come down, I was so embarrassed, I slapped you right in the face, didn't I, honey? Well, I don't remember. Listen, you gonna stay here for good now? No, no, I'm on my way to Louisiana. Oh, first time I've seen you in so many years, and you go right Oh, yeah, got no roots, like tumbleweed. Now, listen to me. I don't think you ought to leave for plenty of reasons, you know? You need someone who'll care about you. Don't you see that? Hmm. Tilda? Yes? Fortunately, I'm sober this time. Drop dead! Well, you the fellow sells the tickets to Louisiana. That's $210 single, paying prior to your departure. Uh -huh. That's a pretty extravagant price. Well, I've got $280. No, that won't be enough. Uh, am I mistaken? Uh, do you have a little mule? Hmm? Yeah, Jonathan. Jonathan. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Let's make it that $180 you have plus little Jonathan. He ain't a horse. No, but your ass is worth something, I guess. Uh, I reckon maybe you're right. Yeah. Okay, $180 plus Jonathan. <laughs> $180 plus Jonathan. This token she received. Now step in here and I'll make out your travel mm. certificate, sir. Yeah. Thanks. Now don't forget to pack your rum, John. You know, Louisiana can be pretty damp in the winter. Here we are. Come right in. Well, hmm. Hmm. My mother was be prepared. You ought to be ashamed of yourselves acting like this. Profiteer and a helpless innocent who believe your story, promising they could have a new life. But where were they going to have it? In heaven or in hell? What's going on? I want the sheriff. Who do you want? The sheriff. I want the, the sheriff. sheriff. All right. Murchison? Hmm. Now I'll show you. Listen, sheriff. These farmers are selling one-way trips to Boot Hill. They've taken my $180 and Jonathan. Yeah. Well, I was prepared, all right. It ain't easy to fool me. Yes, sir. I see. Murchison, this fine gentleman here is disturbing the peace. Lock him up for a couple of days. If he tries to escape, shoot him. He knows too much. Sure, I get you, Mr. Burton. Mr. Burton, I get you. I'll get even. She come with the ticket? Let's go in and ask. Okay. <laughs> That's how we'll split the loot up. Two parts for me, one for your gang. Parts of what? The job I told you about. What loot is it? Gold. 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 I will accept. But uh, how risky is it? Oh, it's elementary work for a man like yourself. As long as you don't forget this. Once the stuff is in our hands, we have to take special precautions to make sure we don't leave one single trace of evidence behind us. Claro, Senor Berton. No evidence. You have my promise. El Tigre doesn't make mistakes! What is it, Murchison? Well? I may be mistaken, Mr. Burton, but I think I saw that blonde fellow there and that black friend of his. 
What did you say? Who are these two? It's those two varmints who interfered with my plan to rob the bank at Bandera. Do I kill these men? No, you have to keep out of sight. Now, where are they? <laughs> Over at Lowell's place, the saloon. That is, they went in there, but if they buy tickets to Louisiana, I don't reckon they'll be coming out again. Wonderful. New Orleans for only $210, food and lodging included in the price of the ticket. An exciting future awaits you in glorious Louisiana. Hear that? <laughs> Anybody home? Hey, you all gone to New Orleans? <laughs> Tchaikovsky. Hey, wake up in there. Wake up. Come on. Howdy, cowboy. You lonely? You offering something? Yeah, my admiration. Unlimited. You're real tight with your cash, right? Actually, I have to be. See, I took a lot of money out of the bank a few days ago. And my pal there, he borrowed it all. He spent the whole lot on his great love. Mm. Beautiful romance. Oh, really? Tell us the whole story. Yes, yeah, tell us everything. Yes. Well, now Two tickets to Louisiana, please. Martha. Certainly, that's four hundred and twenty dollars. Paying prior to your departure. Well, this girl. One moment, please. You mean your mother's dead? Yes. You there you are. What? What is this? Yes. It is a paper that says me and my partner will pay you within a month, not four hundred and twenty dollars. We pay you five hundred and twenty dollars. One hundred dollars interest. Perhaps you think you're dealing with a complete idiot. I'd take it if I was you. This is your receipt. If you'd like to step in back, we'll arrange for your travel papers. <laughs> this way, please. Don't forget to pack your long johns. You know, Louisiana can be pretty damp in the winter. Thanks for the advice, friend. I was still in college. They sent me the news. Ma had passed on. Oh, what a tough break. You've made me start crying. Lou, bring you something to drink. A bottle of whiskey, maybe, but only if you've got the genuine article. The bill's on for two lips. Right in here, sir. Uh -uh. After you, I insist. Please, sir, step inside. You're our guest. Right? <laughs> <laughs> they're going to kill my sweetie pie. I know what they're up to. He was too smart for them. <laughs> so they're going to kill him. Hey, Trinity, what's wrong? What took you so long? Those men are robbers. And it's too bad because Louisiana's supposed to be very pretty. <laughs> I'm much prettier, and uh, there's 2,000 on my head. Hmm. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> uh, this confidence game is finished. I got an idea, Trinity. You and me got to plan a job that's really big. One that'll make us both wealthy. Sartana, so long. Why, where in hell are you going? As far away as possible. From where? From you. Okay, bye, man. And just keep your hands off my horse this time. I'll come back to get him. I hope the two of you break a leg. Hey, Amigano. Talking to me? You ever been to El Cerrito, amigo? Why? Because one very interesting thing has happened right there in El Cerrito. Oh, really? What was that? <laughs> Well, in El Cerrito, there was one gringo blown a mejano, very much like you, who rubbed a horse. And can you guess whose horse it was? Mm, no. <laughs> this is the most interesting part of the whole story. Oh? It belonged to El Tigre. <laughs> and just who the hell is El Tigre? Who is El Tigre? I am! <laughs> and I don't give a good goddamn. <laughs> Now, you listen to me, you little chunk of horse manure. The very next time I meet you, I'll have a story to tell with this gun, and you won't be able there to. There will never, ever be a next time, gringo. <laughs> Drop your gun. Let me go, you idiot! And now, gringo, so you learn to know El Tigre. 
He make on you his mark, like Zorro. No one dies here today unless I or the Lord say so. Put down your gun belt, quickly. Who does he think he is, anyway? <laughs> hey, amigo. This man here, you know who he is, do you? No, sir, I don't. He's a cabron, a puerco, a filthy stealer of caballos, a lot of mierda! But there's a law for horse thieves. They hang them, El Tigre. Ah, now you are speaking, hombre. You are not like him, that dirty son of a whoremongrel. Men of that kind deserve to be shot. You leave us alone and the Virgin Morena will protect and help you out. While we perform one act of justice with delicacy and discretion and leave this horse thief's head impaled on that spike. That's a good idea. Oh, boy, you're a dang fool. It's about the craziest idea I can remember hearing. What he's talking about are my testicles. <laughs> well, well, well. Let's do it like this. You fight like gentlemen and you lose a pain. All right? Let's go to it, amigos! <laughs> Why'd you decide to come back? Because you were the king's ransom. <laughs> and man, you can't beat that. You're worth two thousand dollars. Randy, two miles north of the pass here, the Mexican cavalry will be arriving from the southern mm. bend. We've thought of everything. Are you sure? Because you know Burton won't put up with any mistakes. There's no need to worry. Once the gold shipment has been handed over, the rangers won't even be stopping for a bite or a beer. They've got other work to take care of. I bet El Tigre could do it with his eyes closed. Close. Don't forget it's a nice fat cake. And you, my boy, can count on getting a fair sized slice of it for yourself. Be seeing you tomorrow. Good evening, folks. I hope we're not interrupting anything. A couple of honest men at last. Listen, if you want to shoot the sheriff a body and drink, a whole bottle of leak, and you'll just put a bullet through him. Excuse me, Sheriff. Do you know this man? No. Don't you recognize his picture? Is it? Tell him who you are. That one there. Hmm. Well, we have the prisoner, and we have his confession. All that remains is to collect the $2,000. It's on the poster. All in order, Sheriff? Just a moment. I... Come on, Sheriff. I've got two eyewitnesses. You said it. Don't stand on ceremony. And anyway, just think about what I have in my hands, and let's see the money. Hey, listen, Sonny. If you're a good Christian, put a bullet through that. Put a bullet through him. Our good Lord will thank you for it. Come on. Give the sheriff your gun. Come on. Between the bottles of his eyes. Them pretty eyes. Now's your chance. <laughs> well, Sheriff, I think it's all legal. Thank you all very much. Please, sir. And now I have to go. Hey, young fella. You're leaving like that? You're not letting me go? 
Escaping is a prisoner's duty. Hey! You mean you ain't even gonna shoot him? Just spank him? Adios. Your face written son of a... She... Bitch. Funny way to pray. Why? Way out here, without a church, without a preacher, without even speaking. But there is the sun. The sun is everything. You see it rise in the morning, and you never know if you will see it set. That's our destiny. Where are the others? Over there. Let's go. Look. Look what's happened to us. We were attacked by Mexican bandits. They didn't leave anything. I reckon Burton was behind it. What difference does it make? Cleveland, I was still a little girl. No men don't quite understand what happens to little girls when they grow up. What does that mean? I don't understand. Well, when boys grow up, they become men. But that only means they get taller. But with women, it's different. Sure, they get taller, but that's not all. They kind of grow out in all directions. You, for example, you sure have grown out in all the right places. And you really think so? I really think so. Martha! Where are you, Martha? I have to go. Will we meet again? I really don't know. I hope so. Really. Bye. Hey, listen. Take this. Oh. But, but I can't take this. Sure you can. Go on. I don't need it. Neither does my partner. You know how it is in business. The money comes, the money goes. Trinity, why don't you go to hell? Do you realize they cost us $500 each, those bottles? And why is that? Because you feel like making goo-goo eyes at that little smidgen of a girl, that's why. But, but she, she, but she, those girls are all alike, I say. They're polite to you if you're 20. They'll go to a barn dance when you reach 30. They'll pretend to love you if you're 40, give you real loving when you're 50, then get married to an old geezer of 70. Figure it out for yourself what they're gonna think of a bastard with $2,000. Time you started to grow up, Trinity. Anyway, I hope you filled your canteen, at least. I'm not that absent-minded, Sartana. Well, that's something, I guess. Let's go, come on. Where are we going, anyhow? To meet the local stagecoach. Why, do you know anyone on it? <laughs> Brother, you just don't understand. I mean, we're gonna stop it and borrow a little cash. I don't like it. I don't like it. What don't you like? I don't like the idea of robbing that stagecoach. Why not? Because. Because I never tried it and I don't want to begin now. Boy, you're something. Yeah, I'm a sailor. And how you manage to stand all that water, boy, that's something too. You don't have to drink it, you know. Yeah, sure. But if you fall in, you get water in your ears, eyes, up your nose, everywhere. Uh-uh. Come on, let's take a closer look. 
We can always pretend to be guides and get them to hire us. I still don't like it. You've already made that clear. Robbing stagecoaches ain't for us. That's for bandits with no sense of imagination. I don't understand you at all, Trinity. Don't you ever want to see your damn island again? Even if there is a fair chance that the folks there won't ever let you back in, persevering is the only chance you got. Well, okay. But for safety's sake, I'll hold on to the kitty. All right? <laughs> right. Captain, there are two men riding up. Those fellas sure are mean looking. I wonder if they're bandits. Worse, they're rangers. We can't turn back now. Ha! Ha! Howdy. Is the bar open? Sure, it's all yours. Thank you. We will leave our horses here. Bill. Looks as if there may be a storm brewing. We can't afford to risk any delay. So tell the men to get ready to move. We're leaving in 10 minutes, OK? All right, men. Let's get going. Are you thirsty, huh? Yeah, you said it. The trouble was, we missed the last water hole. And 40 miles of desert dust is no joke. My lungs, a Yankee bullet left in there. When I drink water, it makes me cough. And I suppose you got to keep off liquor, hmm? I don't even talk about that. Where are you two from? Uh, oh, that is, yes, well, I'm... Um, from New Orleans. <laughs> New Orleans, huh? Yeah, we had quite a time getting here. It's a long story, not a tall one either. So you traveled all the way from the Delta to Texas. Are you gold prospectors? Why? Oh, yeah, yeah, <laughs> you've hit it. It's just what we've been doing. <laughs> Searching around for gold mine. Well, I don't think you're likely to find any gold around this area. At least I've never heard of anyone finding any. Anyway, the best of luck. Mind up, men. Captain, hold on. Me and him go along with you? I mean, just till we come to some village. You see, we're both a bit scared of bandits here. And after all, a couple more guns could be useful to you. No, we're rangers and we're on duty. No one can accompany us or even ride next to the wagon. We have orders to shoot on sight. You got away with it because of one thing, the well. But just so you stay far away from that wagon. Are we ready, Bill? Yes, sir. Let's go. Rangers out of uniform to escort one creaky wagon. Funny. It's mighty strange. And there was a strange business about that map. Yeah? What was that? There. When we arrived, the captain was looking at a map, exactly like the one in the sheriff's office in Quintana. asking my opinion. You said stagecoach holdups are your specialty, didn't you? In the first place, the wagon tracks were almost six inches deep. Now, there were only two men inside and two on top, which means it was carrying a mighty heavy load, don't it? Sure, it could have been guns or ammunition. I mean, what else would rangers be escorting? Gold! I think I've got it! I can smell it in the air. I can feel it in my bones. You're getting so you see gold everywhere. You're sick, man. Take it! 
up your pack, you pig! Quickly! Hurry up, you're gonna hurry up, El tigre. This one is not of the capitán. I'll find another. Stop wasting time. Strip your clothes and get dressed. Understand? Yes, sir, Captain. Bueno. Don't you worry, Senor Burton. I assure you it will all be perfect. Oh, I'm not worried. What do you... Uh, what do you think we pull in? I know precisely. You see, every two months by contract, our government has to send these cases to Mexico, and uh, they contain two million pesos. What? Pesos? Gold? Naturally, what else? The gold comes from Mexico City in ingots and is sent to Washington, where our mint makes it into your official peso. They hand over the cash at this outpost right here in La Peluca. The detachment of cavalry you've just overpowered were waiting here as usual. They were going to escort the gold to Mexico City, but not now. <laughs> <laughs> we're all prepared to receive the rangers, Senor Burton. And the gold. That especially. There's nothing to worry about. The only way for anyone to reach La Palooka is by going through Crazy Dog Canyon. My men are waiting there. They're all set. We got nothing left to do now. We can just sit on our backsides and wait for the rangers. And the gold, naturally. <laughs> but don't let the men get too drunk. Capitan, I've done what you said. Capitan, I've done what you said. Captain, my name is El. El, El Capitan. Oh. Will one mule be enough? Yes, yeah, sure. Mule pesos always weigh at least a tenth of an ounce. So two million pesos would weigh quite a lot. Only we're not getting all the gold. I like that. Like what? When you say the word gold, your eyes shine. Don't you? Sure. It's better to have plenty of pesos to spend than a woman. But before you spend your money, you have to earn it, right? You heard, Burton. You gotta make sure that nobody can get through Dead Dog Canyon before you arrive. <laughs> I'd like to see the guy who could get through that canyon now. I got it staked out with my best man. <laughs> You'd better be right, Klein. Boss, what are you doing here? Did anybody say you could leave your place, Red? I did. Drop your guns, nice and easy. That's the idea. Well, who do we find? It's a pretty small world, and it's becoming more infested each day with vermin. Oh. Oh. Cozy place you got here. 
Ma'am, I guess you're in charge. Mind if I have a little of this tea? You son of a bitch! Hold it. This fellow was slipping, so I gave him a hand. <laughs> we'll be moving along, don't worry. But I'd like to know why a high-class woman like yourself here is in with these bad boys. <laughs> Can't get your tongue, ma'am? On your feet. Over here, stand together. That's right. Oh, I got it. I reckon you're one of those deaf mutes, eh? Bastard. It's a pleasure, Sartana. And that fellow's Trinity. Well, then, there now. I'm the cashier, remember? That was our agreement, wasn't it? <laughs> yeah, that's true. Good boy. <laughs> As I was just saying, my pal and I are only trying to be friendly. We just wonder what brought you all here. Vern will fix you for buttoning in on this. He'll get you too, even if he has to follow you to hell. Sartana, the lady's right. She can't speak in front of witnesses. Yeah, I guess not. <laughs> Oh. There we are. There are no witnesses to bother you anymore. Anything you want to say or do will be our little secret. Anything, honey. How dare you speak like that? Huh? And as for you, you're as bad as he is. I hope I never have to run into either of you unless I got a Winchester trained on you. <laughs> <laughs> they kiss at 20 years old. They dance when you're 30 years old. They make love when you're 40 years old. And they marry Maybe you. Maybe I was wrong, but I didn't have to throw away all my money to learn that, did I? Hmm. Ah, soon. Soon what? They will be arriving. Who? Hmm? The Rangers. Ah, see the Rangers. Go to the tower there eh? and keep a watch out. You see, and don't fail me. You see, mm -hmm. you're the only one I can trust. Hmm. See me, Capitan. Pedro, here are the soldiers. Wake up! Wake up! Guards! Get far from the rear! Tigre! Don't call me El Tigre, you fool! I am your captain! Vamos! Go to your places! Go to your places! Go to your places! And go to your places! Go to your places! Remember your soldiers! Go to your places! 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 Go to your Holy a barrel of mierda, you idiot! Caramba! If you are not ready, I kill you! In your places, muchachos! Quickly! Have to open, no? Don't open until I kill you! One of us holding them up. <laughs> All that remains from our past is our old-fashioned hospitality. <laughs> no? Yes? <laughs> you will accept the copita of sequia, no? <laughs> yes. <laughs> Who are you? A uh, tea. Uh, uh, Capitano. Who are you? I'm Captain Alex McCorney of the Texas Rangers. Ah, McCorney, ah! Six months ago when I came here, there was another captain. Mm. Captain Vergada. Isn't he still in charge here? Uh, el, el Capitan Alonso Vergada. The Capon! That dirty traitor! I wish I could have him here in my hands to wring his neck! My crony. Mm, that's strange. I thought he was one of the best commanders in the whole Mexican army. But he cleaned out the whole area around here. Mm. Politics. Uh-huh. 
midshipman. All yours, Captain. Pedro! Si. Pung all the boxes. Senor. Okay. Muchachos! Vamos, muchachos! On the wagon. Hurry! Hurry! Adelante! Give a hand to our brave amigos, gringos! Hurry, you lazy speak! Go for us! Find the cases over there! Quickly! The rangers wish to leave! Over there! Rangers, hey! Is there anybody else who needs help now? Uh, <laughs> no? Yeah. Go on, Captain. <laughs> sure. Saludos. Thank you. Nada. <laughs> Stop the smoking. Hmm. And give up drinking. I hear this funny kind of noise in my ears. It reminds me of a, a player piano. Huh. It is a player piano. We shouldn't speak to you. Nope. It ain't charitable to leave a man in the hands of Sheriff Murchison. Well, I don't keep grudges. Forget about it. Just don't do it again. How did you manage to escape, sir? Well, the sheriff got took real bad. Food poisoning, so I did what I could. He was suffering right here in his throat. So I, I massaged him. <laughs> <laughs> There's a man who's a good Christian. You probably thought you'd never get to know one, did you? Well, you're damn lucky. There ain't many of us around. <clears throat> but I like you, boy. And I got an idea. So long. Yeah. So long, friend. Uh, hey! Where you off to? Hey! Ain't you two interested in ten chests full of gold? <laughs> <laughs> Did we hear you right just now? You did say gold. Well, that's right, ten chests. You mean to split the money, man? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Three ways. Mm. <laughs> okay, you're on. Good. <laughs> Some partners. <clears throat> and now then, <clears throat> uh, I was in that, uh, in that jail cell waiting for him to kill me. And... Cut the double talk. Get to the point. Uh, patience. Yeah, you see, I could hear when they was talking. And... And I heard Burton and that crazy friend of his giving instructions to El Tigre, the Mexican bandit, you see. Now, El Tigre's men were to overcome the soldiers at Palooka and accept the gold consignment from the Rangers, pretending to be the actual Mexican escort. Now, you fellas saw that map on the desk of the sheriff's office. Well, they were going over the plans for the robbery at Palooka. You are a genius, you know that? Well, that's what I tell myself. No one else ever thinks so. Only now they sure will. <laughs> <laughs> Adios, so Tyler. Hey. Ha! Ha! Where are you going? Hey, wait for me! Hold on! How am I gonna keep up with this darn low? Damn it! Give 
the gun. Okay. I still think I'm right. We'd better get away from here fast. Those Mavericks are dangerous. They can make trouble for us. <laughs> A couple of pigs not able to frighten me. El Tigre! Traveling at night can be dangerous. The mountain can be dangerous as well. We may lose many men and even some of the gold. No. Tomorrow in the morning. Tomorrow then. First thing in the morning, Tigre. But don't forget what I said. I don't want your men touching any more liquor. From now on, they keep sober. What? My men drink alcohol? Never. They do not touch a drop when they are on duty. Trouble you for a light, compañero? Ah. Your turn. Oh. Who are you? Satana. We got one. <laughs> I suppose we really ought to be happy for that. <laughs> Serenade them? Uh, not a bad idea. Yeah! Yeah! Musician! Musica! Musica! Hey, 
share the gold is 50 percent. That's right. Split it down the middle, eh? <laughs> That's more than we agreed to. My offer was two parts for me and one for you. No, they split in the middle. You know what that's called? Extortion. <laughs> Those two mavericks to attack us at Dead Dog Canyon. <laughs> Let's split in the middle. My amigo. But get them out of the way. Because that's what you're being paid to do. Muy bien. My, my, aren't you a well-trained bunch? It must be the military life. Now, all stand together in a nice little line. No more tricks. I'm interested in one thing only, gold. For us, the gold, and you boys are free to leave here whenever you please. <laughs> you heard what he said. What do I do? The horn head. Head what? Come down, the gold! You go up, man! You heard me, man! Not 
Montana. That's the last. Hey, amigo. You leave us one small case, yeah? To permit us a copita to your health and honor, no? <laughs> no. No? This one here, more or less. Go around the men. Don't anyone move. They're all covered. Glad to see you again. I am Colonel Alonso Vergara. You have saved two million gold pesos, amigo. You deserve a reward from both our governments. Indeed you do. And I'm certain that Ramon Consalvo, Miguel, Uride, Calderoni, Alasco will know how to recompense you. Who are they? Who are who? All of them, all those you mentioned. But he is only one. The governor of the Mexican provinces. And what are his ideas on recompensing? You will be presented with the cross of the Knights of the Order of San Epiphany. He can put that <laughs> where he wants to. What? Ah, that is on my chest, right here, near the heart. Oh. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Thousand bucks. Five thousand dollars. Even if there were five hundred thousand or a million lying around saying, take me. Five thousand would be enough for me. <coughs> Get me back to my island of Trinidad. That's okay for you. Well, you don't know what it is to come from a long line of reputable outlaws. You can't escape the gold fever, if it's in your blood. A gambling man on a winning streak can leave the table a lot easier than a man born an outlaw can resist the sight of gold, the touch of gold, the smell of gold. When I was a boy, my daddy told me a story I'll never forget. And he could spin a yarn, especially by the time he drank his third. Third glass, huh? Ah, uh -uh, third bottle. Oh. Well, uh, this story's about a fella called Aladdin who uh, discovered a wonderful hole in the ground filled right up with gold. What's over that there border? Mexico. And over there? The United States of America. How did it all begin? Two countries explored, claimed, and populated, and now they're calling themselves nations all on account of the power of one thing, gold. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My father used to talk to me when he was alive. He said the only thing he was looking for was something no one ever looks for. What was it? <laughs> I've never understood that. But it must be something that is very beautiful. sleeping? No. I was just thinking. Mm -hmm. Don't bother. That's something you can't afford to do, buddy, when your pockets are empty and your belly's rumbling. Come on, we gotta move. Two whiskeys. Whiskey? 
I'm afraid there's no whiskey, fellas, only tequila. All right, anything will do as long as it wets the throat. <laughs> Why don't you try gargling with a bottle of ink? <laughs> I got an idea they're trying to be rude to you. But there are three. <laughs> you mean to say you can't handle them? Get moving, Trinity. They're ready. Hey, I'm talking to you, Ducky. Supposing you turn around. <laughs> Satisfied? Yeah, but you took your time about it. I get slow when I'm thirsty. Hey, no. Don't ever touch that. Then keep your goddamn canteen. I'm just gonna fill it with some of this. I'm sorry, but it's personal. Ah, come on. Mm. God knows that's my luck. Mm. Our price is two thousand. Can I count on you? 28 murders, 96 robberies, and that's just the last couple of years ago because my memory ain't always up to scratch. Proud record, I'd say. But these are tough customers. You won't be the first person to try and get rid of them. Klein Mufter, when he tried to kill them, they made a fool of El Tigre against odds of 30 to 2. Just what do you think you could do that others couldn't? Oh, maybe I ain't heard yet. Last week, somebody finally outdrew Billy Murdoch, the famous sheriff of Kansas City. Yeah, who? <laughs> Twas my eldest youngster. That child is so modest, you know. Even gave the credit to his brothers. What do you say, Burton? Nobody will give you a lower price than I did. Better not lose your chance. Okay, all right. Maybe you're a match for them all. I'll pay you what you want, Mrs. Baker. I'll pay you that 2000 Each one, I think. Huh? What do you mean? 4000 because there's two of them. <laughs> is there anything else? Payment naturally to be a man. Obviously, payment will be made to advance. That's the way I always pay everybody. You'll have to inform me as soon as these two fellows arrive. Well, of course, I'll let you know. It's in my own interest. Hmm. You've made a very wise decision, Mr. Burton. Good day. either him or his ghost. Where the devil you been? You drop Plum out of sight without even saying goodbye. Fine partner you are. Deserting your pals when trouble starts. I thought you said you were a God-fearing Christian. Of course, in a principle. When Buck Ben Bolt runs into the law, Buck Ben Bolt Starts running away. Hmm. Who is Buck Ben Bolt? Who is he? Bucky Bolt? It's me, fella. Now that I've explained everything to you, I'll get out of my way. Something's the matter, don't you think? Well, he has a dog, hmm. a nice huh? new suit on, <laughs> a new wagon, two mules, and that cigar cost half a dollar. And I say it stinks. Yeah, you're right. I agree with you. It smells high. Almost the way he's going to be smelling when the jackals and vultures are picking over his vitals. Hold on a minute there, youngster. You boys are too impulsive. <laughs> <laughs> well, I got another rule for you. Keep your bullets for special emergencies. Put that confounded pistol away. God darn you! I'll give one third to you. A third of what? <laughs> It's too late to tell any more lies. You, you might as well fess up. Yep. I stole one of them cases of gold. Yes, sir. -y. And in the confusion, I just happened to find it in my hand. It was kind of sticking to them. Well, a man can let go of a beautiful girl, if he really must. As I well know. But a case of gold? Never. I always knew we could count on you. I think it's fabulous. No. Oh, sometimes a feller can be lucky is all. If you live your life between the Rio Grande and El Paso, and you can survive what everybody does is thinking with a pistol in his hand. Well, what are you? You're a genius. You're a kind man. No, 
Just an old fool who knows how to divide by three. Trouble you caused last time? When a fellow's got gold in his pocket, he don't need to fear no one. Uh, may I come in, sir? <laughs> okay, sloppy. Come on in. Hmm? Well, I gotta live in the open air. Spread out my bedroll under the moon. Yeah. <laughs> you just prefer their company to mine, that's all. You're mistaken, dear. I'm afraid you're mistaken. They're young, adventurous, same way I was when I was young a long time ago. A dream of youth. If you take the dreams away from a man, it don't leave much. You're in a trap here. Burton has decided to get rid of those two fellas, you see. And you're going to go with them. Don't you understand that, dear? <clears throat> he may get rid of them. <laughs> then again, maybe not. What's taking the old lady so long to get here? Are you certain the message reached your class? Yes, yes, of course. Told her so myself. Well, I wish you'd heard. in advance, Mrs. Baker. Oh, but it's six, Bert. What for? You've agreed to pay two thousand dollars That's right, you? and there's two of them in there. Boss, my babies are here. Huh? I gave birth for three hooligans, and I assure you, they're longing to work. I understand. There's the other two thousand. <laughs> Thank you. And now tell them to get to work and make it snappy, Mrs. Baker. Come on, boys. Go to work. Thank <laughs> you. 
<laughs> Seems to be everybody, don't it? That's right, everybody's here now. But in a minute, we're gonna have a couple of corpses.
something, old pal. I'm even thirstier than I was before. You think maybe there's another saloon around these here parts? Hold it. Raise your hands. You ain't going anywhere. You're staying in Quintana. We'll make you comfy like over at our local cemetery. Explosives. I left it with the top unscrewed and it worked. 